How is today's apology different? And why should we trust Facebook to ensure user privacy? What do we tell our constituents why we should let you self-regulate? Well, Senator, my position is not that there should be no regulation. Google buys up companies for the purposes of surveilling Americans and effectively destroying anonymity on the internet. Yes or no will suffice, sir. Uh, I can't answer that question, yes or no. I actually am not aware, uh, but I can't you know, guarantee you that that policy has never been violated. While there is some discomfort using information and making ads, I'm very concerned about this innovation kill zone. Or use the data so the 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 Hubris can be really dangerous. If you have a certain amount of power over people's lives, you have to be really thoughtful about the way you wield it. Growing up, my parents always said, you never get something for nothing. You should always think about what you're giving away, what it's worth. I can't think of an area of life that technology doesn't play a role in. It infiltrates so many different areas of everyone's lives. I approach my work in tech policy from a philosophical standpoint. Technology has changed so much of the way we all interact with each other. People are very easily manipulated, and what happens when someone consistently manipulates you towards anger or sadness or hopelessness? Oftentimes, technology can outpace our ability to regulate it. To affect change, you have to be in the room where important decisions are being made. If it means enough to you, it is important to do your best to try and change things. I think you owe it to people to at least try to leave the world a little bit better than you found it.